everybody and welcome back to our Objective-C video tutorial series. In this video tutorial, we're going to take a look at protocols and delegates. Okay, so the first question is, what are protocols and delegates? Well, a protocol you can think of as an interface, if you've used interfaces in other programming languages. If you haven't, you can think of it as a promise. It's a promise that in anything that implements this protocol or this interface is going to implement these particular list of methods. Now, on the other hand, a delegate is something that implements a protocol. So it is an object that implements a protocol. And what's the benefit of using these? Well, as you'll see in a couple of demos coming up, it really helps you decouple your objects so that object A and object B aren't tightly coupled together. Instead, they just, as long as object B satisfies some contract, you can swap in other objects for that. Okay, so to better understand the need for protocols and delegates, I wanted to show you what it would look like in a world where we didn't have protocols or delegates. And the example we're going to look at is an example of my mother-in-law's dog, Freckles. So my mother-in-law is named Stephanie, and her dog is named Freckles. And sometimes Freckles has to go to the bathroom, and sometimes she's hungry. This is a header file, freckles.h, that shows that Freckles has two methods on her. She has to go to the bathroom, or she's hungry. And somehow she needs to tell my mother-in-law, Stephanie, about these needs. And of course, being a dog, the way that Freckles communicates these needs to my mother-in-law, and I'm in freckles.m right now, is whoever her caretaker is, which is my mother-in-law usually, she says, Freckles did smack lips when she has to go to her bathroom. And if she's hungry, she looks hopefully at the caretaker. And uh, going over to stephanie.h, she implements these two methods and on .m, so if Freckles smacks her lips, she says, okay, Freckles, let's go outside. And if Freckles looks hopeful, she says, here you go, Freckles, here's a biscuit. So going to app delegate, here's the code that sort of tests this out. So I make a new Freckles and a new Stephanie, and I set the caretaker of Freckles to Stephanie. And then I say, Freckles is hungry, or Freckles has to go to the bathroom. And if I run this, then here's the messages from my mother-in-law. Now, the problem arises if instead of Stephanie being the caretaker, what if my mother-in-law needs to go out of town and she needs us to take care of Freckles for a while? So now the caretaker is going to change. Instead of the caretaker being Stephanie, the caretaker needs to be Vicky. But we have a problem because right now Freckles is very tightly integrated with the Stephanie class. You see it has declares the Stephanie class here, it takes a type of Stephanie, and so on. And so even though Vicky implements these same methods, we're going to have to change the code quite a bit in order for it to work with Vicky. So we could do something fancy, like maybe have Stephanie and Vicky derive from the same base class that implement these methods or something like that, but that seems like... Uh, something we might not want to do, I mean, if Stephanie and Vicky aren't that closely related. Uh, so let me show you what I have to do to get this to work with Vicky. I'd have to change this to be Vicky. I'd have to change the type here to be Vicky. And then in the .m, I'd also have to import Vicky.h instead. And now I can go back to the app delegate and I can get it to work with Vicky instead but I've had to modify the code. What we really want is we want to have a way where we can say, okay, any object that, include, that has these two methods, then I can go ahead and use them. They're a caretaker as long as they can implement these two methods. And that's exactly what protocols and delegates do for you. Let me see why you need protocols and delegates. Let's look at the syntax for how you make this actually happen. First of all, you have to define an interface. So you can define this interface, or maybe sometimes you're implementing a protocol that Apple has created. So a protocol is simply a list of methods, and they can be either optional methods or required methods. So the syntax here is you put at protocol, then you put whatever you want to name your protocol, and then every protocol can extend another protocol. And similarly to when you create objects, if you don't want to extend any other protocol, you can just use NSObject as the default. Then when you put the at optional keyword and list any optional methods, and then you put at required and list any required methods, and when you're done, you put at end. It's as simple as that. So once you've defined a protocol, you have certain classes that are going to implement this protocol. And the way you do that is you've already seen the syntax for creating a class in Objective-C. So at the end of that, you just put a bracket, and then you put the name of the protocol name, and then you put a close bracket. 
And that's the first example is that's what happens if you want to put it in your header file. You can also mark your class as implementing a delegate in the implementation file if you want to keep the fact that your class is implementing a delegate. If you want to keep that private, you would put it in the .m file. And so in your class extension, you would just put a bracket and put the protocol name there that you want to drive, that you want to implement. Okay, there are two last steps. The first is you have to implement any of the required methods on the protocol that you're, impl you're implementing and any of the optional ones that you would like to. And then whatever object is going to be calling methods of this protocol, it needs to have a reference to the object that implements this protocol. And the way you do it is with this syntax here. You say ID, that means an object of any type, and then in brackets you say the name of the protocol. So basically it's saying some object of any type that implements this delegate or this protocol and then you give it the name. Okay, so back to our example of freckles and the caretakers. I wanna modify this to use protocols and delegates instead of the sort of hard-coded method that we've done up to this point. So what I wanna do is I wanna define a, a protocol that has the two methods that freckles needs for a caretaker. So the way it works is I do protocol keyword, and then I give the name of the protocol. And we're gonna call this freckles delegate. And then you give the protocol that this protocol drives from, which is just going to be NS object in this case, and then at end. And then inside here, you list all the methods that um, are required. And we can put the required keyword if we want here. It's also the default. I could, um, if I didn't put this, it would be assumed to be default. And I'm just going to copy these two methods here that were in stephanie.h. Okay. Uh, and it's complaining because it doesn't know about the freckles class yet because it's defined afterwards. So to make it happy, I'll just put class freckles here to let it know about this. Okay, now what I want to do here is instead of having a hard-coded Vicky, in fact, I'm going to delete this pre-declaration of Vicky. What I want to do is I want to say a class of any type that implements the freckles delegate protocol. And I don't need the star when you're using ID and you name it delegate. Okay, so this is any object that implements the freckles delegate protocol and that variable, the property that we're gonna name it is called delegate. Now switching to freckles.m, instead of caretaker, now we just do delegate. Freckles did smack lips or delegate freckles did look hopeful. And we don't need vicky.h here anymore because it's not tied tightly to vicky.h. Now we just gotta mark each of these classes as implementing the freckles delegate. So we have to import freckles.h because that's where the delegate is defined or the protocol is defined. And after the subclass, you put in um, brackets any delegate methods that you implement. So freckles delegate. And then if there was more than one, I could put a comma and I could list them out one after another here. So this is saying that the Stephanie class implements the, implements the freckles delegate methods. And they're already written here, so that's um, all we have to do. And similarly, I'll do the same thing over on vicky.h. Okay, and then the last change is inside appdelegate.m. Instead of using caretaker, it's now called delegate equals, uh, we'll start with Stephanie, and I'm going to run it. And we see Stephanie's method, uh, messages to freckles. And now I can just, if I wanted to switch to Vicky without making any changes in code, sorry, it's delegate, not caretaker. Now we get Vicky's messages instead. All right, that's it for this video tutorial, but as always, I wanna leave you guys off with the challenge. This time, I want you to create your own protocol, and it's going to be called the Stephanie Protocol. And the idea behind it is sometimes, uh, you know, your mom might get sad for whatever reason. And if your mom gets sad, if you're Vicky, you know, a good, being a good daughter, you wanna call your mom and try to find out what's going on and help her out. But if you're Freckles, the dog, you want to go over and, and lick your, you know, owner to make her feel better. Uh, what, what I want you to do is add a new method to stephanie.m called is sad. And what this should do is it should uh, call a method on its delegate called Stephanie did look sad. And then you're gonna have to create a Stephanie delegate protocol that has that method in there. And you need to create a delegate property on the Stephanie class. And last but not least, you have to need to implement the Stephanie delegate protocol on both Vicky and Freckles. And it can just do an NS log that says, you know, call the mom or lick the mom. 
and uh, here's some code that you can put inside your app delegate to test it out. You just say stephanie.delegate equals either Vicky or Freckles and then call Stephanie is sad. And what that should do is it should then call the delegate, which will then log out the appropriate message based on whoever you set the delegate to. Uh, if you get confused about any of this, you can look through the video again, look through the demo again, download the demo code, uh, or you can even look at the solution that's on this post. Hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.